All right, so you're a light side player and everything you do is just not working. It's just a cold table. So even though you've lowered your bets maybe, you're still bleeding out money on every shooter. This has become an emergency. Well, what do you do? You've gotta switch. Let's talk about it today. Casino Crafts, it might look complicated, but at its core, it's a simple game. Roll the dice, bet on the correct number, and win. Hi, I'm Jeremy and I am a crafts fanatic. My job? to teach you the game, to teach you the math and some strategies, and with a little luck, you can color up. Sometimes no matter what you do, you're just gonna lose unless you switch over to the dark side. So you don't have to learn a lot about the dark side, but I'm gonna show you one simple strategy that'll keep you in the game and then kind of let you know when maybe the table is turning, you can go back to your normal strategy. I'm gonna call this the don't progression. What you're gonna do is make a simple bet on the don't pass. When a point is established, you're then going to lay single odds. For the four and 10, let's say we're at a $10 table. The four and 10 pays one to two, so you can bet $20 to win back 10, because you're the two to one favorite. If the point becomes five or nine, you're going to bet $15 to win back 10 because you are the three to two favorite, and it pays two to three. And if the point becomes the six or eight, I know a lot of you don't like to bet against that, so just make a simple equivalent place bet. So you know, maybe like a $12 place bet if the point's an eight. So you really don't have much at risk. If the seven rolls, you lose $12 and win 10. If the eight rolls, you lose 10 and win 14. That's the strategy, pretty simple, but I'm going to add a progression to it. So not only will this allow you to win some money, but it'll kind of maybe give you some indications if the table's turned or not. I always say you never know when the trend or the table turns from hot to cold or cold to hot, it could happen on the very next roll. But if we're betting this progression and we can't get up to the progression, and then hey, maybe it's time to go back to your normal strategy. So the progression is gonna be one, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. So what that means is, let's say we start off at a $10 table, there's one unit, then we'll go two or 20. If it wins, we're gonna to go to 30. And then if that wins, we're gonna to go to 50. After 50, we restart back down to 10. Now, obviously, if you're winning on this progression, the don't's winning, and it's probably still a cold table. If you don't work your way up the progression, well, hey, maybe it's time to go back to your normal strategy on the light side. So how we're gonna play this is anytime the don't wins, we bump up to a level. If any time we're at a higher level and it loses, we drop back down to the minimum level. And hey, if you can't get past that minimum level, again, like I said, maybe it's time to switch back to your normal light side strategy. Now I'm gonna add one more step to this strategy. Let's say we have a point of five and we've laid 15. I know a lot of you are very impatient, especially if you're a light side player and you've only got action against one number. So for you, let's go ahead and add a second number. So we'll come through the don't come and get another number. Again, we'll lay single odds and we'll stick with that. Now we're rooting for the seven. So in this case, if we win both of our bets on the don'ts, then we'll increase and go to our next level. So one, two, three, and five. So we're at one, we'd go up to two or $20 bets. If we lose one or both of these bets, we'll drop back down to the minimum bet. All right, we're gonna give this a try with a $600 bankroll. So let's go ahead and get $10 on the don't pass. There is one rule that I forgot to mention. That is if you're ever pressed up and you lose right here on the don't pass, which happens, the game resolves itself one third of the time. You're either gonna win, lose, or establish a point. Um, if that happens and you lose, just go ahead and drop down, back down to the minimum bet. So just as if you would have lost your don't. All right, new shooter, let's get rolling. Here we go, coming out. Six, easy six, that's gonna be the point. So again, we're not gonna lay against it, we're gonna make an equivalent size place bet. So 15 to the dealer, dealer, let me place the six. I'm gonna get three and change. And then $10, just because we're action junkies and we need another point. Otherwise, if I were you, I'd recommend just sticking to the one, if you can. All right, here we go. There's the six, right back. So we're gonna lose our don't. Our 12 is gonna get paid 14, and then our don't will move behind the six. So we can rack this up. So technically we want a little money there, but we lost on the don't, so we're not gonna progress up. 
Now we still have this one established and we'll just go ahead and let it resolve itself. That was the point hit, so the puck's gonna go off. The don't bets are always working, so we're gonna go ahead, we don't need to add odds because it's the six, but we're gonna go ahead, make sure our place bet is turned on. Place bets follow the puck, so by default they're off. We're gonna ask the dealer to turn them on. All right, here we go. Same shooter, three, three craps. 12 craps. Nine points gonna be nine this time. And now we'll just let this number resolve itself. Two bets per shooter. All right, yo 11. There's the 10. Six the hard way, six hard. And this time it actually worked out on the light side. So we're gonna lose our don't pass, but again, our 12 is gonna win 14. I'm gonna go ahead and pay out 15 for one. And then uh, dealer take by bet down. So we obviously won a little, little bit there, but we won on the light side. We're looking to win on the dark side to progress our dark side bets up. So if we're winning on the light side, hey, you might wanna consider going back to your standard or normal strategy. All right, let's go ahead and finish this roll out. There's the nine point of nine. You could wait for a new shooter. Technically, well, not technically, that is superstition, really. Mathematically, it doesn't make a difference whether it's a new person rolling the dice or the same person when the puck's off because, hey, these dice don't know who's rolling them. All right, so let's go ahead and get our $10 bet down on the don't. And it's the same shooter. Maybe he's a hot shooter. I don't know. We're going to find out and see what happens. Seven, front line, winner, don't side, loser. That's no good for us. We'll just repeat the bet. So maybe this is a shooter we need to avoid. All right, five, we're out on the five. All right, uh, we're the three to two favorites, so we can bet three units to win back two. So 15 to win 10 and lay odds. And then let's go ahead and get our $10 don't because we like more action. All right, here we go. Nine, we're out on the sister number, out on the nine. So same thing, 15 to win 10. And now we're looking for that seven shooter. Dice off the table, no roll. Let me get grab that. Dice off the table, bring the seven, right? Let's see if that holds, hey, it held true that time. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna win 20 for our don't. This is gonna come down and we're gonna win 10 for the odds, 10 for the flat, or 20 there. Stack this up. Good hit there. So this time we won. So now we're going to progress. One, two, three, five. So we'll go ahead and go to two or $20. All right, I'm going to dump the bowl to simulate we got a new shooter. And here we go. New shooter coming out. Seven on the come out. All right, so we're going to lose our 20. And that's a loss. So what do we do? We just drop back down to $10. All right, here we go. 10, 10 the hard way, 10 hard. So this time we're two to one favorites, so we're gonna lay 20 to win back 10. And let's go ahead and get $10, don't come in. Here we go. Eight the hard way, eight hard. Don't's gonna travel to the eight. We're not gonna lay against it. We'll go ahead and bet against it though with a place bet. So technically on the eight, we have $2 at risk. Some casinos will allow you to not make a proper bet. They'll let you make $10. In that case, it would be a complete push unless the eight rolls. This would actually pay $11. So they round down. It's not a great bet for you, but if you're worried about risking $2 to win 14, you could always do it that way. But as of right now, the seven rolls, we'd win 10 and lose 12. The eight rolls, we'd lose 10, win 14. So. I think it's fine. Just, just make a proper bet. All right, here we go. Still hunting for that seven. There it is. All right, so our don't pass is going to win 20. Our place bet loses. And then our don't is going to come down and win 10. 
So technically, we won both of our don't bets. Puck will go off. We're going to have a new shooter. And that is going to allow us to increase up to $20. Let's see what happens this time. All right, here we go. Oh, every time on that come out. All right, there's that seven. So we lose 20. We're just going to rebet it at 10. So we lost. We're going to lower it back down to minimum. Same shooter, looking for a point. Five is going to be our new point. We're going to bet three to win back two. And $10 in the don't. Here we go. Two aces. That's just an automatic win there in the don't. So we'll wrap that up. Keep it rolling. And seven. So seven, we lose here in the don't come. It loses to 711. And then down here, though, on our don't, we actually win. So we won one and then we lost one. So I think we keep it at the same level. Not ready to progress up yet. We're going to have a new shooter. So we'll stay at the $10 level. I mean, I guess we win. We did win with the two initially, but uh, we're not going to progress up just yet. We're not sure that it's a cold table. So here we go. Indications are it's a medium table, except for these come out rolls. Come out sevens constantly beating us. All right. Same shooter looking for a point. Nine, we're out on the nine. So we'll bet 15 to win 10. And $10 coming. All right, here we go. Five on the sister number. So we'll go ahead and give the dealer 15. We're going to lay that against the five. It'll set you up here. And we got two numbers working for us. We need the old seven, just like I planned it. All right, we're going to win 10 down there. And this is going to come down and get paid. Well, 10 for the odds, 10 for the flat. We're going to win 10 or $20 here as well. Stack all this up, send it out to the player. Good little score there. And now we're going to increase our bet to progress it to the level two or $20. Bucks off, we got a new shooter. Now, can we avoid the come out seven? No, we cannot. I hit my dice and rolled there, but it was a seven. So once again, down comes the $20 bet, and we'll just drop down to $10. Here we go. Another come out seven. Lose the 10. We'll just rebet it. Four the hard way, four hard. Four is going to be our new point. Now we're going to bet 20 to win back 10. Some people say, man, why would I got to bet more? I'm going to make a $20 bet. This gets paid one to one, and now I'm only going to get paid half with this additional bet. Well, you're the favorite. You're twice as likely to win this bet. All right. But the casino does pay you true fair odds, so it's a 0% house edge bet there. All right. $10. Don't come. Here we go. Eight the hard way. Eight hard. So move behind the eight. We'll just go ahead and make an equivalent size place bet. We did have a $20 bet up here. We can only we would only need to bet 18 here because that would pay 21 and cover it. All right, two bets. Here we go. Looking for the seven. Nine. Four easy four. We knocked off a number. So down comes our bet here. Puck will go off because we hit our point. And then because this one's always working, dealer, get my place bet working. And we're just going to let this bet resolve itself. All right, same shooter coming out. Here we go. Out on the nine. There's the nine point hit. Coming out. Eight the easy way, eight easy. So that's our point. So we lose our don't. We're going to win 14. I'm going to pay out 15 for one. And then dealer, take my bet down. Now we can't get in the, we can't make a don't pass really with the puck is on. So let's just go ahead and roll it a couple times. We could th come through the don't, but go ahead and just resolve this. Hopefully in a few rolls, hard four. 
by rolling that seven. Four easy. There's a five. Hopefully I don't go on a monster roll here with <laughs> nothing on the table. There's a nine. If that's the case, I'll just fast forward through all this. There's the eight point hit. All right, there we go. Puck's off. We're gonna have the same shooter, but we can get back in action. So we didn't win both of our bets, so we're gonna start back down $10 level. Here we go. Four easy four. Maybe it'll work out for us this time. So we're gonna bet 20 to win 10, and then go ahead and get $10 coming. Here we go. Two, spot and a dot. That's an automatic winner in the don't come. We like that, we'll just rack it. Here we go. Six the hard way, six hard. So I'll travel behind the six. I'm gonna make equivalent place bet, just so I don't have to worry about the six. And then here we go. Hunting for that seven, yo. Yo, 11. There's a five, we don't have the five. Three, three craps. This stage of the game, we don't care about that. We just wanna see that in the come out roll. There's a nine, rolling numbers. Let's roll that seven now. Six, okay. So we're gonna lose behind and our 10 is gonna pay 14. Dealer pulled my place bet down, I don't need that anymore. And then we still got this one number, two to one favorite. We should be in good shape, but it just depends what the dice do. There's an eight, easy eight. And there's that seven, there we go. But we, we rolled this number, so it's not technically two wins on the don't. So we're gonna get paid 20, puck will go off, we're gonna have a new shooter. So we can't progress, we'll just stay at the same level. And you got to think about it. Hey, we're not pre progressing up. That means the don't's not necessarily winning. So maybe you go back to your light side strategy. I don't know. Maybe the table's trying to tell you something, but here we go. I don't think we're losing money. If anything, we're actually making a couple bucks, I think. So we're hanging in there, up and down table. All right, we're out on the six. Go ahead and make an equivalent size place bet. Dealer, give me the six. And then we'll lay, or not lay, but make $10 don't come bet. Here we go. Four, easy four, we like the four. Travel behind there, let's give the dealer 20 bucks. Dealer lay against my four. Here we go. There's the five. We're looking for that Cinco Dos, three, three craps. Yo, 11, yo, 11. That one took a funky roll, but it's a 10. Six easy point hit, six easy. So again, we're gonna lose our don't. 12 will pay 14, I'm gonna pay out 15. Player dropped me $1, 15 for one, and pull my place bet down. Buck will go off. And then we still have a number working for us. Remember, um, a don't and lay odds are always working, so we don't have we don't need a puck or a lammer to override the puck. These bets are just always working. So here we go, shooting for that seven on the come out. Yo, eleven. Five points going to be five. Doesn't really affect us. We're still hunting for that seven. 10 the hard way, 10 hard. Six easy. Trying to just whip through here. Eight the easy way, eight easy. Nine. This is why a lot of players don't like one bet. It's just too much standing around watching. Three craps, three. Four the hard way, down comes our bet. That's no fun. Now we could come through the don't come, let's just roll it a couple times and hopefully there's that seven we needed. All right, puck's gonna go off. And I think we have time for another 
another shot at this. So $10 on the don't. I haven't really got to show the progression yet, but uh, that's what happens when we got two bets. I think we would have seen it with just one bet, but here we go. Seven on the come out. How many times have we seen that? It's the most likely number, so you're going to see it from time to time. One in six times is what it's supposed to show up. And now it's two for two. <laughs> All right, down comes the don't. We'll just rebet it. Because eventually, if we can get a point number, we're the favorite. And on the 10, we like that. We're a two to one favorite. So we're going to bet $20 to win back 10. $10 don't come action. And here we go. Eight the easy way. Eh. So travel behind the eight. Let's make an equivalent bet. And here we go. Shooting for that seven. There it is, seven. We do lose two dollars up here, but that's okay. Well, let's take care of the winners first. Actually, down come the losers. Now we can take care of our winners. So we win 20 out here, but we'll come down and get paid. Remember, we only won both of one of them, so we can't progress our bets. Although it was a profitable roll, we'll just stick down at the $10 level. Remember, we're not getting indications yet. We're not progressing. So it's definitely not a cold table, but it's not exactly a hot table to be on the light side either. All right, one more try, and then we'll wrap it up. There's a nine, count down the rack. So we're three to two favorite. So we're gonna bet three to win two or 15 to win 10. $10 don't come and away we go. Six easy six. I wish we can get two don'ts established instead of these. All right, betting 12 against the six. Here we go, still rooting for the seven. Six, easy six. Down behind. Actually, I've, at that last one, what did I have, an eight? So technically it did win. I should have progressed up, I think. All right, because both, both of them won. All right, 12 is gonna pay 14. Actually, let's go ahead and pay out 15 for one. Dealer, take me down off that six. And then we still have a number rocking against the nine. So let's roll that seven before we roll the nine. There's a 10 easy. So I think eight easy. I should have progressed up on that last one, but that's okay. Four the hard way, four hard. Three craps. Eight. Easy way, eight easy. Avoid the nine, but we're looking for that seven. Four easy four. Let's go shooter. Eight easy. And hey, there we go. Finish strong there. Seven winner for our don't. Puck will go off. And we'll go ahead and counter up. See how we ended up. I don't think we got into the greens. One. Well, as you can see, this game, this strategy doesn't take a whole lot of money. Two, three, four. There's our 500. 525. 50. 75. 600. There's our buy-in. 625. 635. $640. So we made a little $40 profit. We didn't really progress up, which means it wasn't a necessarily cold table with lots of don'ts winning, but we may have done better than the light side. So I think it's a good little way to hang in there on basically any table that's up and down. And then with that progression, you'll either know, hey, the don'ts are doing really well, or hey, can never progress. Maybe I should switch over to my standard strategy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Dicer. I'm going to import my CSV files. So we're gonna see exactly what today's rolls look like. So we got a little win there, a little up and down, ended up at 640. But let's go ahead and compare it if we did the single don't progression. We'll load that up. 
And again, with today's rolls, uh, very close. Obviously, they're marrying each other. It was at one point losing quite a bit more, but it came back up. We did end up with a little profit, but not as much. Now, let's also go ahead and throw in our standards, our don't standard, and our typical standard, and then we'll just see how it stacks up against those. Well, the standard was winning for quite a while and ended up positive, 720. And the don't standard ended up down just 10 bucks at 590. But you can also see the single and the double don't progression were a lot less volatile than the other two strategies, the standards. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of the standards and we'll throw in something like uh, power crafts, which is something I did recently. And then we're not going to do today's rolls. We'll just do a random 10 roll and see what that looks like. Uh, the double don't and the single don't ended up positive. Power craps ended up down. Go ahead and run it again. Oh, power craps started down. Okay, it's up and down. Obviously, as you can see, it's a lot more volatile in these, either one, the single or the double don't. Very consistent. So not much up or down. So maybe if you're interested in a strategy with low volatility, these are something to look at. Of note, this last time, the single don't ended up better than the double don't. So there you go.